And many mayors across the state are concerned as travel season creeps closer that they won't have enough cash to repair the badly worn winter roads. News 3's Jessica Arp has the latest on the issue from Beloit. If you thought your street was in bad shape, you weren't imagining things. City leaders came from across the state to Beloit to ask for help. We have seen a catastrophic number of potholes affect cities. Speaking together at a Beloit hotel, mayors from La Crosse to West Allis agreed the winter was too hard on their roads. We've got the potholes, a lot of the damage that was done, uh, plows hitting curbs and sections, uh, potholes all over the place. Uh, again, damage uh, to some of the underlayment in the streets. Uh, a lot of the base underneath the streets was very badly frozen and heaved and pitched a lot this year, far more than normal, and that's caused a lot of surface damage on the roadways. The League of Wisconsin Municipalities and Urban Alliance estimates cities will spend more than $12 million over their budgets on road patching. Beloit alone is estimating they'll need a couple hundred grand to cover unexpected costs. If that total statewide tops 18 million, they can ask for FEMA disaster funds. But until then, they're asking the state for help. Because we have a levy limit that does not allow us to uh, raise taxes or to, to pay for this. The only way that you can pay for this in a city like ours is to simply take it out of something else so some other service is not handled. Counties were made whole on their extra winter expenses by the DOT asking the state for more money. On this issue, a spokeswoman for the DOT said they just heard about the request and at this point weren't yet aware of an emergency grant program to cover costs. In Beloit, Jessica Arp, WISC News 3.